Today I'd like to show you two jobs using different blending techniques with Permahide High Tech Base Coat 480. In this video, as it's a dark colour, it's not necessary to use the blender. On the Jag, I'll show you separately the blending process when I'm actually going to use the blender to help. The gun I'm using is a 1.2. Let's take a look at the job before we start. And as I said earlier, as a dark colour, I'm not going to use any blender. What I want to think about though is my process. So my plan is to spray to a wider area first with a blending coat before coming back inside and finalising the repair. That's the base coat applied then, as you can see. Nice, simple and easy process. Nothing too difficult about that. We'll flash it off now and then we'll take another look before clear coat. This is the base coat then after flash off. And you remember I was talking about wanting to minimise overspray during my application process. Let's just take a quick look with this tack rag and see if I've managed to achieve that. Just wipe over the blending area. Feels nice and soft. Nothing to worry about. And as you can see, absolutely nothing on the tack rag. Let's get the clear coat on and then we'll put the job outside and take a look at it. That's the drying done. Let's just take a quick look at it before we give it back for refitting and then we'll take a final look at it outside afterwards. Nothing much to see, thankfully. Job looks great. Let's get it refitted. That's the mini done. Time now to paint the Jaguar. As I said earlier, on this occasion I'm going to be using the blender along with the base coat. Two pot process. Idea is I spray the blender out around into the areas where I want to make my blend in, maybe a little bit down there change over and then make my base coat spray into the widest area first out across here and then just finalizing the repair in the middle with one and a half coats Here's the base coat then after application. As you would have seen, it's a very, very simple process requiring me only to come to the job once. No unnecessary flash off, very productive, nice and easy, simple, repeatable. I'm gonna dry this now while I make my clear coat and then we'll be ready to go again. Here we are after a short flash off. As you will have seen during application, it's a very simple, straightforward process. Use of the blender really promotes a nice, transition of the base coat into the original film. If we take a look with the tack rag, it's very, very smooth. There's no overspray left behind. Ready for clear coat now. Let me do that and we'll come back and take a look at the finished job. Time to remove the masking polish on the blend edge a little bit then we can put the car outside in the daylight and take a look so here we have the two jobs as we can see both right first time following the process here no blender needed on the dark color on the Jag with the more difficult tricky color we use the blender to help us get the right result very easy very simple both jobs great results thank you see you again soon in the majority of cases, using the blender will be of benefit to you. However, as you will have seen in the video, where darker colours are concerned, this is not necessary. As I showed you in the video, working from outside in helps to reduce overspray. 
spray your blend in coat to the widest area first, finalizing the repair with a further one and a half coats. Before application of clear coat, tack rag the surface as normal. If you see that you have very little evidence of overspray on your tack rag, this means that you have done the job correctly. Less overspray means better clear coat appearance at the end. When repairing difficult colours, even the smallest of repairs benefit from the use of the blender. The easiest way is to work with the two pot process or, alternatively, use two different spray guns. Apply the blender to the areas surrounding the repair and do not allow it to flash off before applying your base coat. Start by applying a light effect coat to the widest point of your repair, making sure that you stay inside of the blender. Apply your base coat then, as normal, over the repair area. Please make sure that you do not go beyond the blend that you have already created. Before clear coat application, tack rag as normal to remove any slight surface dust. Using the blender will ensure that you have a completely uniform film on the repair, resulting in no overspray. This in turn will ensure optimum clear coat appearance.